Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another video of home theater and setup. For the past 8 or 10 months, ever since I got the 2019 NVIDIA Shield TV Pro, it's been my main media player. Whether I'm watching Netflix or locally streaming my files via Plex. And a while ago, while browsing some home theater related stuff in Google, I came across an article regarding Apple, um, their Apple TV specifically, that they introduced, I think, three or four months ago, an update for their Apple TV, which features some sort of display calibration which they're calling, I think, uh, color balance. And while reading, I remembered, hmm, I think I own an Apple TV 4K, which is sitting behind my soundbar. <laughs> so honestly, guys, I completely forgot that I own the first generation Apple TV 4K because I'm very satisfied with the performance of the 2019 NVIDIA Shield. So, when I read about that new feature, I got excited. Because number one, I own one, and I'm really um, fond of doing setups or calibration when it comes to home theater. Especially my, um, I think my four or three-year-old Sony TV the X9000E so this is uh, 3 years old or 4 years old guys and still I am very very happy with its performance so without any more further ado guys for this video we are going to upgrade or update the firmware of my Apple TV 4K and we're going to try out um, join me uh, I will be updating my Apple TV for the first time to be able to experience the color balance feature. But before anything else, guys, I'm Luis, your dimpled engineer. <laughs> but wait, of course, I'm with my dogs, Olaf, the white Maltese. Is there a black Maltese? <laughs> and Lit Lit, my lovely Snorky. By the way, guys, a little trivia. Snorky is a crossbreed of Yorkshire Terrier and Schnauzer. Are they the cutest little girls? Aww. And this is our YouTube channel. Say hi. Tell my viewers to subscribe, guys. Huh? Subscribe. 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 So okay, guys. Before updating, I, I research on how to up, how to do the uh, firmware upgrade or update. So you need two things. Of course, number one, your Apple TV, and an iPhone. So I think the iPhone will be used for um, colorimetry, something. Let's find out. So okay guys, first things first, we need to check uh, the version of our tvOS. Okay, let's go to settings. And general about. So our tvOS is 13.4 I think the color balance feature is um, present in the current or the tvOS version 14 so all we need to do now is upgrade or update our Apple TV 4k first generation so let's go to system and software updates and let's check update software. There. Apple TV. Update is available, version 14.7. So this is the latest as of August 
2021. So let's install it guys. This may take a few minutes. <laughs> So okay guys, after step one, after downloading the file, I think, the Apple TV restarted or rebooted and this is our next screen after the reboot. I think it's already installing the, the update. Let's just wait again and see what will happen. Okay, it rebooted again. Okay, what's happening? So here is our next screen. Welcome back to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's new? Home screen, free up space. Uh, another is watch new Apple Originals. This one is what we're looking for or after. Color balance. Use your iPhone to measure your television's color balance and Apple TV will adjust to produce more accurate colors on screen. Okay, so settings. It's under the settings, the video and audio and calibration. I'm excited guys. Let's see what will be the improvement this color balance feature will do with my Sony X9000E. Okay, let's go. Continue. Analytics. Okay, let's participate. Send to Apple. All right. Okay. So guys, here it goes. This is my first time uh, doing this color balance feature. So let's go to settings. Okay, under the video and audio. Down, down there, color balance. So under the calibration, they have uh, added other options. Uh, wireless audio sync, zoom and overscan and color bars. So let's go to color balance. Okay. Adjust color balance up. Bring it close to your television and tap the notification. So let's just prepare our iPhone. So okay guys, the next step is bring this iPhone close to your TV. So once you bring it close, there will be a notification like this one. Color balance. Okay, you just click continue on your iPhone. Okay, so this is the next screen. So instruction is turn your iPhone around so that the front facing camera is pointing at your television. Hold it centered and still inside the outline. Make sure it is, it's one inch or closer to the screen. Make sure the top edge of your iPhone is completely inside the outline. So let's do that, guys. So okay. So the front-facing camera of the iPhone is acting as the color meter. Okay, it's done. All right. Color balance is complete. So the notification on the phone is also complete. So let's click done. And now let's check or view the results uh, of the color balance of the Apple TV. View results. So okay guys, after the color calibration of our Apple TV, this is our result. So when using the color balance, this is it. And let's compare it with the original. I'm not sure guys if uh, my camera is capturing the, the difference. 
but in reality uh, there's there's a difference and by the way guys just a disclaimer I am not a professional video file or professional video calibrator so I am just uh, basing my opinion uh, on what I'm seeing right now on my screen so getting back to the comparison for me the original untouched um, calibration or uh, color theme uh, for me this picture quality is brighter compared to the this one the balanced for me the balanced um, picture profile somewhat gives the picture quality a warmer tone okay guys again it's based from what I'm seeing right now so the original for me the the sand on the left part here guys the sand is uh, brighter and whiter uh, for the balanced guys uh, again it gives a warmer tone or somewhat uh, a bluish tint on the picture quality so again guys this is based on my untrained eyes and I'm using Sony X9000E uh, full array local deeming TV so this is the balance and the original but honestly guys uh, I tried watching uh, a full movie and based from my own observation <laughs> there's a little difference between the two so the question is is there an improvement well it depends on your preference if you want uh, brighter and lighter tone use the original and if you want a little warmer tone or more natural more natural picture quality use the balanced uh, profile on your Apple TV 4k so once again it is uh, based on your personal preference so okay guys for our final test let's try out some 4k YouTube video uh, let's uh, look for a demo 4k HDR video here on YouTube for 4k HDR demo okay so let's check this one out guys Yes, we're using the balance color balance profile of the Apple TV 4K first edition. So okay guys, that's it. That's our video. That's our quick uh, tutorial on how to update to the latest Apple TV OS and how to perform the the Apple TV color balance or color calibration. So for my final thoughts, um, once again, it depends on your preference. So for me, the color balance profile gives a warmer tone to the picture quality, more natural. And guys, if you prefer a brighter picture quality, uh, I suggest going for the original color profile. And my final thoughts, guys, comparing the Apple TV with my personal favorite, the NVIDIA Shield. TV Pro 2019 model when it comes to picture quality guys uh, for me the Apple TV is um, is the winner but by a little or small margin let's say 5% especially if uh, you if using the balanced color profile because for me it gives uh, more natural look this is advantageous especially if you're watching uh, people 
especially if there there are people uh, on the scene it gives more natural skin tone but the difference or improvements is very very small that I still prefer the Nvidia Shield because of its audio capabilities so I tested out the Apple TV OS 14.7 and still it won't it does not support uh, lossless audio bit streaming so if you are uh, especially if you're playing your local video files by the Plex Plex app so if your movie is in Dolby Atmos so the the Apple TV will process it or decode it and it will send uh, PCM audio signal to your audio receivers whether it's uh, audio audio video receiver or your soundbar or whatever outboard audio processor you have so unlike the Nvidia Shield it supports uh, lossless audio bit streaming so it will send the original audio file to your outboard audio processors so that's it guys I'm still I will still be using my Nvidia Shield uh, as my main media player so guys when it comes to Netflix by the way the Apple TV 4k still supports uh, Dolby Atmos so don't worry about that if the, the movie you're watching is in Dolby Atmos in Netflix it still supports Dolby Atmos so okay guys uh, that's it once again thank you for watching my video and if you find this video helpful kindly click that thumbs up icon guys, if you're not yet my subscriber kindly subscribe to my channel and press that notification bell um, and help me reach my goal that this uh, 2021 I will be able to reach 5,000 subscribers and guys once again thank you very much for watching this video and always stay safe be healthy be vaccinated don't be afraid and god bless everyone see you on my next video update your apple tv